the southern hemisphere of the Earth, there is a continent all on its own. Australia is a huge island with a natural history of 65 million years of independent development. Ninety percent of the territory is completely flat. This is a land of vast distances, high plains and plateaus with just the very occasional scattered hills and weather-beaten mountain ranges. But in the Northern Territory, there is a mysterious place that conceals all the wild essence of Australia. The magic country of the ancient inhabitants of this great island, one of the biggest national parks in the world. Ever since the time that Australia separated from the rest of the land that had emerged, things have changed a great deal for its wildlife. The symbol of this is of course the kangaroo, living proof of this theory. It's a marsupial, a type of mammal with no placenta, which houses its young inside a bag. An archaic animal order whose sanctuary is here. The marsupials have evolved and diversified in a thousand ways in order to take advantage of all of Australia's resources. This is a wombat, the equivalent with additional bag of the badgers of the Northern Hemisphere. As it likes digging, it has its opening towards the back, the opposite way round from the kangaroos, so as not to fill its sack with earth when it is working. Birds have also developed peculiar designs. The nightjar hunts at night, and until night falls, it stays completely still, pretending to be just another piece of dry wood. The Australian landscape moves and screeches. At least this is the feeling you get from these cockatoos, which can be seen everywhere. These particular ones are members of the species called sanguine cockatoo. Large, crested and used to moving around in large groups, cockatoos are exceptionally intelligent birds. They have a constant need to express themselves in front of the rest of the group. By moving their crests, screeching and doing acrobatic exercises, they show the others how they feel. They have special feathers that give off a powder to protect the rest of the plumage. Cockatoos are almost exclusively vegetarian, but this one isn't. There are 20 species of monitor known here as the guana in Australia. It's a very active predator, although it does not turn down carrion as a source of protein. It patrols the ground sucking at the air. Its forked tongue is sensitive to the smells in the atmosphere. Interesting smells because they lead to the food that its cold body needs to stay alive. Monitor meat is popular with the Aborigines who have always hunted them in Kakadu. Another spectacular reptile is the frilled lizard. Its spiny neck frills make it look like a mythological dragon 90 centimeters long. It's looking for insects and it knows very well where to find them. Kakadu is enormously rich in insects and a new species is discovered almost every month. It's calculated that there are still about 10,000 species which have yet to be recorded for science. The weave ants from colonies of over 500,000 female workers descended from one single enormous queen, around which they build a nest out of acacia leaves bound together with silk.
The males only participate in courting flights with virgin queens and then die before returning to the nest. An efficient society in which the individual members always work altruistically for the good of the colony.